After blasting a cave, a massive alien emerges. Following that, some people applied shampoo to the alien, causing it to blow. Where did the alien come from and how did he get there? A meteor was shown a few times recently, and it is moving towards the earth. A boy is shown preparing for his firefighting exam in a forest. Because his exam was the following day. The meteor lands exactly where you expect it to. The firefighter barely makes it out alive the meteor creates a massive hole in the earth and descends 80 feet into a cave. The next day, two university professors named Harry and Kane. They've come to investigate the meteor. They arrive at the cave and go to the meteor. They take its sample. Meanwhile, they notice a liquid and also take its sample. While researching in his lab, Kane discovers there is an alien organism in the liquid. It means there are alien cells in it. They were growing with the passage of time. They can increase their strength in a short time. Kane tells Harry about this. They became more complex organisms when Harry sees this. This thing makes Kane surprised. According to Kane, this process a billion years was done in a few hours in this liquid called evolution in these cells. This was a huge discovery for them. Following that, the firefighter is shown to have failed his exam. Now he was doing the job under a rich man. He notices small insects were emerging from the earth. The firefighter becomes worried seeing this. He leaves. The next day, Harry and Kane take their student for a survey to the meteor place. They notice alien mushrooms and moss around the meteor as they enter. They notice many alien insects on the earth. These insects can't breathe in oxygen. Because they aren't used to breathing oxygen. As Kane lifts up an alien insect it dies. Here, let me tell you the meaning of evolution. The changes that occur with the passage of time or development are referred to as evolution. It is found in each living thing for survival. This change happens on earth in millions of years. The surprising thing is this change was happening in the aliens in a few hours. In a single day, they multiplied them by a factor of 10. Like this, the number of alien insects was increased. There was a different environment around the meteor. Because the environment of the earth wasn't suitable for aliens. As the insect was picked up from its atmosphere it dies. They take the insect while placing it in a jar. They notice the insects were multiplying. They go to the lab with the jar. Harry asks Kane to tell this to the government. Kane refuses him while saying this is our discovery. The government will steal our discovery. We have to do more research and make all the reports and documents ready. The next day, Harry and Kane are shown at the meteor place. So they will research there. Going there, they see the area was now under the US Army. They have sealed the place. Later, Kane goes to the general. Kane was a former army researcher who was discovered. Later, he was terminated. Now because they have hacked Kane's computer. They discover this meteor from there, and they seal this space beneath them. A female doctor was supporting them in all this named Allison. Dr. Allison advises Kane and Harry not to conceal the most significant discovery. This is your mistake. Harry and Kane say this is our discovery and we want its credit. General says while refusing you have no contact with this place now. So stay away from here. Give all the samples back you took from here. They argue that's why Kane and Harry leave. When they go to court for their rights it was revealed when Kane was doing a job in the army research. He created a vaccine that causes numerous side effects in the soldiers. It was the reason behind his termination. They lose this case that's why. Going into the lab, they discover their samples and research have also been stolen. This was done by none other than the general. They become furious. They move to the army camp to bring their things back. They enter in a changed getup. Later, they go to the meteor while wearing a UV suit. They wear the UV suit because they may cause problems in breathing among those aliens. When they reach there while escaping from them, they notice everything has changed in a short time. The place was looking like a forest. There were a lot of alien insects and animals roaming around. They were alien insects and have grown elder due to evolution. Dr. Allison recognizes them while they are talking before they return their sample. She comes here to stop them. An alien mosquito enters Harry's body while biting his suit. The alien mosquito was moving in his whole body. Meanwhile, the doctor comes and takes dot out the mosquito from Harry's body. The alien mosquito dies when it comes out. It discovers Dr. Allison also doesn't know anything about the robbery of their lab. Dr. Allison and Kane were good friends before so she doesn't make them arrest. Later, the firefighter is shown while serving the drink in the rich man's house. The rich man goes to the ground to meet his friend. Meanwhile, an alien crocodile attacks him. It dies him. Later, Harry and Kane return to college, they meet the firefighter. He was waiting for them. He was holding something in his hand. It was the alien crocodile and it has ended his owner. The firefighter tells them this. The alien crocodile was dead. According to the firefighter, this alien died in agony, and I brought it here. Later, 
A house is shown and with many females in it. The insects also arrive there. A strange alien appears when the females open the door. It was looking innocent. A lady moves her hand forward to it after seeing it, as we know the aliens are not innocent. The alien bites her hand and as the alien was about to shoot by a lady, the alien also dies like others. Kane goes to Allison and says we have to end all of them. They will be dangerous. Allison tells him this is in our control we can handle this. Later, Kane also discovers that an alien has ended a lady after biting her. They go to the house for investigation. They find the innocent alien died there. They find many dragon-like aliens outside that house, they were in large numbers, and they were all dead. Seeing this, Harry says all the caves and mines are connected together. The meteor cave is also connected with them. That's why all the aliens are moving from different places. Now because they can't breathe in our atmosphere. They were not used to living in our environment. That's why they died after moving out of the cave. Meanwhile, an alien dragon awakes, and after disgorging an egg it dies. The same alien dragon comes out of the egg. This alien dragon was breathing in our atmosphere later, it flies. It goes to a city mall while flying from there. It spreads destruction and starts attacking the people. After it, they also come there while chasing it. They end the alien dragon while shooting it. This was spread in the news and media. All the reporters were asking for answers from the governor about all this. The governor also goes to the military base. They ask general how these alien monsters spread in the whole city. Allison tells they are increasing speedily and spreading. Within two months, the aliens will spread in the whole city. Meanwhile, Harry, Kane, and the firefighter also arrive there. The general blames them, claiming they breached security, allowing aliens to infiltrate the city. The governor says, I don't know anything, I just want the solution. The general asks the aliens to be burned while doing a blast in all caves. Meanwhile, the monkey like aliens attack them. An alien monkey also attacks the governor. The firefighter shoots it. Governor gets scared seeing this and gives full support to the general to burn them. The general asks them to leave. Dr. Allison also leaves with them she also has taken their stolen samples and data. Kane was seeing the liquid in his lab. He wonders why it hasn't changed yet. Suddenly, Harry throws a burning matchstick into the liquid. The liquid increases from its size. Now Kane discovered their evolution. How and why they are increasing in number speedily. Actually. The thing is heat. He says when the meteor was in space there wasn't any heat the alien DNA is activated as it enters the earth due to the extreme level of the earth. Their evolution begins at that point. This liquid was in the freezer that's why it wasn't affected. They understand the heat will make those aliens stronger. Allison calls the general to tell him all this. The general ignores her call. Kane believes seeing the periodic table as carbon is poisonous to humans. Like this, selenium is poison for those aliens. Two students tell Kane there is selenium in shampoo. The firefighter hits an idea and arranges a fire truck. He fills the truck with shampoo. They move to the truck. As they were about to pump the shampoo while entering the cave, the general before this blast that place. As a result, things that shouldn't happen they happened. Because a giant alien appears from there. It was also ready for evolution. But before it divides they have to end it. They go downside the giant alien with the fire truck. They stop the truck near a holdout while putting a ladder near the hole, Kane and Harry climb it. Now they pump the shampoo in the giant alien. After some time, there was a movement in the giant alien. Allison immediately takes the truck far from the giant alien. The alien blasts badly. Meanwhile, the governor appreciates them in front of the media. He also calls them the hero. The firefighter was promoted to chief. During the demotion, the general was promoted to sergeant. This was the end of the film.